Welcome to this week's edition of the Thomas Index Report. When it comes to innovation, the automotive industry is often at the forefront. The 2022 Inflation Reduction Act and the Chips and Science Act served to bolster advancements in the sector to grow domestic manufacturing. In this report, we will start mapping the downstream impact of these policies on the supply chain. Across thomasnet.com's 76,000 sourcing categories, we highlight fast-changing sourcing categories by comparing data between Q4 2021 and 2022. The top three industrial categories that showed significant year-over-year -year growth in demand are printed circuit boards, or PCBs, automation equipment, and robotics. PCBs package electrical circuits into small, form-fitting, and modular components, and are a fundamental aspect of automotive manufacturing. They are not only vital to onboard computer and electrical systems, but are also necessary for manufacturing equipment such as automated welders, robotic arms, assemblers, and inspection equipment. In light of recent global shortages of PCBs caused in part by pandemic-led disruptions to the supply chain, Thomasnet.com's sourcing data reflected this heightened demand with a 14% increase in PCB sourcing over last year's quarterly average. Large automotive manufacturers are rapidly adopting automated and robotic solutions, as these systems are shown to eliminate up to 5,000 hours of downtime. Robotics and automation offer increased quality and visibility for each manufacturing step, resulting in an overall more efficient production line. As more electric vehicle manufacturers scale their businesses to meet consumer demand for gasoline-free alternatives, the demand for automation and robotic solutions has skyrocketed in tandem. Through thomasnet.com's sourcing data, a 62% increase in automation equipment sourcing and a whopping 200% increase in robot sourcing over last year's quarterly average was observed. These increases illustrate the concerted effort to electrify and automate supply chains by both government and private sectors. I'm Anna Wells, and this is the Thomas Index Report.